Hey, hey, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to filter for hands played outside of your poker ranges. Now, this was inspired by a question I received from Ian via email. He said, I would like to filter my database to show all hands where I diverted from the default range for each position to ensure that my diverting isn't unprofitable. So we've got the KISS cash game ranges and these are what Ian is using. If you want these KISS uh, six max and full ring cash game ranges for yourself, just uh, click the link down in the description below. It'll take you right to it so you can download it. So it's a four step process and it's pretty easy utilizing Poker Tracker 4, right? So you can see my database of hands. The step one is to build the range as a quick filter in Poker Tracker 4. These are the directions over here, or the steps, I guess. Go to more filters, hand values, whole cards, range selection. So have a blank filter right here, or you know, no current filter going on. More filters, hand values, whole card range selection. Of course, we're playing Hold'em. And then you're gonna go ahead and build out, uh, uh, select all the hands within the range. All of these colored hands is the 31% button open raising range. So that's what we're going to be doing or using as an example here. So instead of clicking them all individually, let's just scroll up to roughly 30%. Make sure we got everything in, not king nine, king 10. Let's see, it's six, five suited and better. We have eight, six in. Uh, 30, what am I missing? 10, eight, oops, 10, eight. There we go, sweet, 31% of hands. So let's add that to filter. Now, what I'd recommend, like you could say, you see that I say uh, build it as a quick filter. Right now, whatever your range is, I mean, you could put this one in, Poker Tracker 4 if you want, but save it as a quick filter and then give it a name, however you want, whatever you would call this range to help you remember it and find it in the future. But let's save and apply the filters. You can see I've saved this before as the KISS 31% open raising range. You can see I've been dealt these hands, one of these 31% hands, uh, 1,553 times, positive $180, positive 92 big blinds per 100 hands. So that's pretty good, right? But that's just step fun. Step one, we have the range within the software. We want to edit and add the related action. So this range is the raising first in range, not necessarily the ISO raising, definitely not the three betting, not the calling range either. So in order to do that, more filters, add a filter, actions, opportunities, and I'll show you where to find all that right now. So more filters, add filter. It's an action opportunity that we're uh, gonna filter for here. It's a pre-flop raising opportunity. Take a look down here. Raising first in is a type of raise. So let's click on that. And then you can find raise first in right there. Simply click it once, it turns it on, add it to filter. We have our 31% range and raising first in. Save this as a quick filter if you'd like. Save and apply. So you can see with this 31% range, we're raising first in. When I do that 437 times out of that prior 1500 total hands, I've raised first in uh, that often with a win rate of 193, positive 193. Looking pretty good there. Now, the real thing that uh, Ian is talking about, seeing hands where he diverted from his default range. So you're gonna more filter, select range, not. More filters, select the range, not. So once we run the filter, we're gonna see raised first in when I did not have these hands. What was our win rate here so we can compare? 437 times, positive 193. Now I'm not dealt these hands, raising first in, oh, it's decently positive still, over 100, positive 117, but only 48 times I've done it. Now, this is across all the positions right here using that range, right? But if we highlight just the button, we can see when I'm raising with hands outside of the range, 22 times, positive $8.50, positive 404 big blinds per 100 hands. And we could see all the hands down here. Now, specifically, if you wanted to get rid of these numbers and just not have them clouding, uh, clouding up the data, clouding up the report, right? Filter for position. For the button, it is zero. Here are the details, but let me show you right here. You'll go back to more filters. We wanna keep this here. We just wanna add position. So go to add filter, hand details, player position right here. Pre-flop position, not post-flop, but pre. And then the active player, you can select all this different stuff, but the active player is just whoever's database you're looking at currently, exactly zero. And here's a description down here or 
I guess instructions, the button is zero and the positions are relative to the button. So we're just looking at the button right here. So you'll see that once I run this filter, the cutoff and small blind hands are gonna disappear and we're gonna be left with just these numbers. So the totals down here will match that. Yep, 22, 850, positive 404 right there. So that's how you're going to do it. Now, it takes a little bit of work, right? Taking the time to build out all the different ranges and then build the filters and then save them as quick filters and everything. But it's absolutely worth it so that over time, anytime Ian in the future wants maybe two months, three months down the road, see what his profitability is with the ranges and then see what his profitability is with the same play outside of the ranges, he can quickly do that. And so can you, of course. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out these KISS cash game ranges for yourself, a link in the description below. I'll catch you later.